The Indian Air Force chief got a tour of the Russian Su-57 fifth generation fighter jet at the Aero India. Russia has offered its latest Pantsir S-1M air defense system to India. Talks are underway between Boeing's Liquid Robotics and Saga Defense Engineering for the co-production of 60-wave glider unmanned surface vehicles in India. Anderal Industries and Mohindra Group are in talks to co-develop and co-produce large diameter autonomous undersea vehicles. Hal Chief has said that the first F-404 engine is currently undergoing ground testing at General Electric's facility in the United States and will be delivered by March for integration into the Tejas Mark 1A. Sweden's SAB Group has signed an agreement with Hindustan Aeronautics to collaborate on the LWS-310 Electronic Warfare Laser Warning System. Astra Microwave has confirmed that it is in talks with Hindustan Aeronautics to manufacture 130 thumb radars for the Tejas Mark 1A and Mark II fighter jet programs. Adani Defense will locally produce the 30 km range Russian R-73E missiles in India. The Indian Air Force has ordered a limited number of Kagan Tuk 243 long-range glide bomb from JSR Dynamics. The infrared search and track system for Tejas Mark II has completed flight trials, and an industry partner has been selected for its production. Israel Aerospace Industries has announced that it is in talks with Indian authorities for new defensive as well as offensive systems. The DRDO has showcased its Swift UCAF at the Aero India, that has been offered to the Indian Air Force to fill tactical gap. Safran has signed a contract with Tamil Nadu-based Titan Engineering and Automation Limited, for the local production of components for the low-pressure turbine of leap engines. The CEO of New Space Research and Technologies has shared an image, confirming the first successful flight of the Sheshnag 150 long-range swarm drone. It has a range of over 1,000 kilometers, an endurance of 5 hours, and has a payload capacity of 40 kilograms, that makes it capable of long-range large-scale autonomous or semi-autonomous missions, ensuring it can inflict significant damage on enemy targets. Bangalore-based startup Hyprix Aviation has become the first private sector company to develop a supersonic ramjet engine in India. Hyprix Aviation has announced that it has successfully tested its Tej liquid fuel ramjet engine in India, that is designed to operate at speeds ranging from Mach 2 to Mach 4, and interestingly, this was done over a period of five months from design to realization and testing. Bharat Earth Movers Limited has been identified as the lead agency for assembling the knockdown kits of two versions of the striker vehicles in India, that will be followed by full rate production with extensive localization. The striker vehicles produced in India will also fulfill global orders including the US Army. The existing 350 horsepower engine was found to be underpowered during high altitude trials in Ladakh and the Army has sought for an upgrade to a 600 horsepower engine. Brahmos Corporation has showcased a new Brahmos NG air launched anti-radiation missile for the first time at the Aero India 2025, that retains the impressive Mach 3.5 speed, capable of delivering a highly effective strike against enemy radar and communication systems up to 300 kilometers away. This version of the missile offers a significant tactical advantage, as it utilizes radar homing to lock on and destroy enemies' electromagnetic assets. The first test firing of the Brahmos NG is expected to take place by mid-2026. Today's Top 3 Comments